Hey everyone, today's video is just a little bit different. So in this video, I am going to be performing and teaching a very easy self-working card trick. Now, at the end, I will be giving a shout out to someone. Now, the reason I say this is different is because if you would like, during the performance, you can actually follow along with me, do everything I say, and the effect will work. Now, the same thing should be the case on for any self-working card trick, but I don't think I've actually said that on any of my past videos. So this video, I actually am. So the cards I'm going to be using today are the Super Bs. I have a deck review on these. I will link that in the description. So the first thing you need is 52 cards. No jokers, no ad cards. You are all set. So you can hand the deck over to the participant and they can give it a shuffle. After they're done, you take the deck back and you say that you are going to make piles that add up to 10. Now, aces are 1. 2 through 9 is already the value assigned. 7 is 7, 8 is 8, 9 is 9, so on and so forth. However, if you get a 10, jack, queen, or king, you want to put that off to the side or in a discard pile. You actually aren't going to be using those. And you want to do this with the whole deck until you either run out of cards or the pile of cards in your hand don't add up to 10 or can't add up to 10. So let me show you what I mean. We have a 4. So starting at 4, I will go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're going to do this through the whole deck. <clears throat> so we have a king. We will put him over. We have a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have an ace. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a 7, 8, 9, 10, a king, we have a queen, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now this top card is a 10, which we will put off to the side, and this card <coughs> is a 5. Obviously, obviously, we don't have enough cards to make up 10. So if you would like, <clears throat> you can either hold the card in your hand or you can place it in the discard pile. Let's say we do that. So now with all of these piles, you can turn over three piles. However, the three piles has to have four or more cards. So let's say we get this pile, we get this pile, and we have this pile. So the rest of the face-up piles now, I would like for you to gather into one pile. If you have any cards in your discard pile, you can add those as well. So now you have three piles here. The first thing I would like for you to do is with two of the piles, turn the top cards face up. So let's say we go with a four and we go with an ace. So what we're going to do is add the two values up, a four and an ace, which is one, by the way. So four plus one is five. We're going to deal five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to deal 19 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You can now move this pile off to the side. <clears throat> With the rest of the cards in your hand, or card, go ahead and count them. 1, 2. 
This top face down card is a two because there are two cards here. And this card is indeed a two. So that is the effect for today. If you would like to learn how to do this, stick around for the tutorial. However, if that's all you need to know for the effect, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time with a new video. So for those of you that stuck around, here is the performance, and then the shout out is at the end. So you're going to hand the deck over to the participant to shuffle. Once again, you have 52 cards, no jokers, no add cards. You explain to the participant that you are going to make piles that equal or add up to 10. So you explain, aces are worth 1. If you get a 10, jack, queen, or king, you are going to put those off to the side or in a discard pile. And then the 2 through 9, whatever value you get, that's going to be the value you're going to use. So a 2 is a 2, a 4 is a 4, 8 is the 8, so on and so forth. So you're going to do this throughout the entire deck until you either run out of cards or you have a group of cards or one card that can't equal 10. So in this case, we have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I start right at the number, and then I add cards until I get to 10. So we have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a queen. We will leave off to the side. We have a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a jack off to the side. 8, 9, 10. Ace is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, if we look at the remaining cards here, we have a king, which would go off to the side. And then we have a 5, which wouldn't give us enough cards to add up to 10. So once you get to one card or a small group of cards like this, you can do one of two things. You can either hold them in your hand for when you make the pile, or you can already put it in the discard pile. You're now explained that with these face-up piles, the participant can turn over three piles face down. However, there has to be at least four or more cards in that pile. So for example, we can turn over this pile, we can turn over this pile, and we can turn over this pile, meaning you now say the rest of the face-up piles you're going to construct into one pile. If you had any discard pile or cards in the discard pile left over, Pick those up and add them to the pile. If you happen to notice when you're doing your piles, you can't seem to get at least four or more cards in one pile. Shuffle the piles and keep trying until you can get it to work. If you can't seem to get it work, you can intentionally uh, use aces first, and then twos, and then threes, and add your way up to ten. But if you can get at least four or more cards in one pile using the first number you get, then that is fine as well. So now the rest of these piles are going to be face down, and you explain that the top card of two piles will be turned face up. So let's say we have a 4 and we have an ace. We're getting 4 and ace a lot. <clears throat> so you say we're actually going to add the two numbers and the values are still the same. So aces are 1 uh, and then 2 through 9 is already the number assigned. Obviously 10 through king you put away. 
so you can't get those. So 4 plus 1 is 5. From the deck in your hand, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You now say we're going to deal 19 cards. I don't know why it's 19, but if you can come up with some justification, that will work as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. You will put these off to the side. And finally, you explain that the remain that the number of cards left in my hand will be the top will be the top face down card of this pile. So in this case, we have two, meaning that this card is a two. And that is the effect. So I hope you really enjoyed this one. <clears throat> if you don't want to hear the shout out, I'm going to do my outro right now. But if you would like to hear the shout out, make sure to stick around a little bit longer. So I hope you enjoyed this effect. <clears throat> if you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. However, if you want to hear the shout out, here we go. So the shout out I'm going to give is to Card Matt Tutorials. I believe I have already gave him a few shout outs in the past, but I'm giving him another one just because he's actually doing a sort of a shout out video. I believe it's called Mega Mouth. I don't think you can actually get any more entries in by the time this video is uploaded. But of course, there might be a next time, and you should go and check him out anyway. He has great performances, great of, uh, tutorials, great effects, great giveaways, really everything you could imagine. He's just a really nice guy, and you definitely will regret it if you're not subscribed to him. So I will link Card Matt Tutorial's channel in the description. Go and subscribe to him. Let's get him to 4,000 subscribers and see what happens. And that is the shout out. So here is the intro, or the outro now. So I hope you really enjoyed this effect. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye.